Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to go pro in Fortnite and how to make your first earnings. Actually, give me a minute. Oh, wow. Hold on. So, first, we're going to do it in Souls. I'm going to load up to this map and I'm going to teach you all the tricks. <laughs> like, in game, like, this is how to practice your fighting. Sorry, I'm. Um, uh, if you want me to do another video like this, or in how to call for Soul Cash Cup, how to get better at tournaments, you let me, or RafaFan6 know. Because RafaFan6 is better at me in tournaments, I'll say that. RafaFan6, if you're watching this, uh, you might be better at me in tournaments, but I'm better at you in creative, so. We am playing on Brazil. No, I forgot I was playing the tournament. Okay, I guess I have to show y'all in um, 100 ping. So first, when you're in a fight, if you get hit for um, 100 damage, I want you to do this. Like, make a 2 by one If the opponent is not pressuring, that means they're bad. Or they just scared of you. So you can have time to pop one or two minis, then a big boy. Then you can actually, don't be afraid to reset the fight. Try to make a peek, try to hit for 100. Try to make this peek, hit for 100. Now try to get counter damage. If I get counter damage right, like right here, and I hit this point at 100, I can actually start pressuring him. I got the piece. If I get this full piece right here, and this wall is like, he can actually drop down and get it. And this, if he has the cone, he can add it down. And you had this wall, also. he can add it down. But the thing is, this is why I see most of my um, friends do, which is not good. When they when they try to pre-piece opponents, they actually make a Y edit. And then they get hit for 100. Now they have to play defensive. Like, try not to take 50 50s. Like, right here, I can make a window at it and hit him for 100 and then end the fight. Or I can get him, like, more. Like, I can almost kill him. The next step is to, like, be confident in your fights. Like, the way to get confidence is, like, playing more tournaments, playing more rank, playing more scrims. And just playing the game mostly. If you have like two, three years of experience, you're probably um, gonna get more confidence. But if you have like, um, like if you just started today, or maybe t ten days ago, you're not gonna have that much confidence. Try to play as many tournaments as you can, so you can build up that confidence. Once you see improvement, you're gonna get more confidence that's the only way you're gonna get mostly confidence okay number three um uh, and okay sorry i'm struggling guys with my tips even i'm struggling with my tips know how to retake walls so let me set this up okay so how to break a um, wood wall. It'll take shotgun and that, that and uh, another pickaxe, but I wouldn't recommend. So I'll probably do this in two shots. For a brick wall, if you edit it this way, it's, uh, it's two, um, three shots. One with a shotgun and two with rifle. If it, well, rifle. If it's if you make the opponent makes this at it, it's like one shotgun shot and one rifle shot. Any kind of edit like this at it, it's gonna be most likely one shot, like right here. But this wall, if it's at it like this, you can probably hit it and then hit it two times. If, if this wall is hit right here you can you can probably one shot it with a gatekeeper but it's more it's most likely this and then this okay this is the fourth 
tip. When you're in a fight, try to get like an advantage. Like let's just say an opponent's just walking right here. So, try to look for a perfect beam opportunity. If the opponent is like right behind his house and you see like a window, don't go for the window shots. I mean, if he's just staying there, maybe. But, but if he's wide and open and he doesn't see, you can actually get a tag and then he'll probably end. If he does this, that means he's a good player. But if he does this, I'm making a two by one, but in the wood, they're most likely bad players. So what I would do is probably pressure the wall, get the wall. Probably get this wall. Try to get like one more counter damage and then I can just hop into my box. But the thing is, you need to know how to phase in. And how to phase in is I would go to Polarize's practice map and just learn how to phase. You don't need an, um, your friends to like hold the wall and you can just phase through it. That's like non practice at all. There's a um, there's many ways to practice phasing. There's a polarized map, there's a Marto's map, and that's all I know. But there's an other map that I'll, I'll put in the comments if you need it. This is the fifth step. And this is from, um, like, from, um, another YouTuber. Stop changing your warm-up routine. I mean, you can do it once in a while, like in like a month, you can change it in, or four weeks. But if you change it like consistently, like every week, that's not really um, consistent. So I want to stick to you. So if I were you stick to your routine for your like four weeks, and then you're good, then you can change. And number. Six. What should be your warm up routine? This is personally my warm up routine. So what I do is hop on free build for ten minutes straight. Then I go to one v one realistics for an hour. Then a rod review one hour. Then play Ferenka for one hour and then this is not what I do. Uh, but you can play scrims for two hours. But if you're probably saying this is an excuse, by the way. Um, no. Um, like I don't have enough time for that. Well, you can either boost up like for realistics, for example. If I don't have time for realist realistics, change like the time. For instead of one hour, you can put it for like 20 minutes. Like try to if I have. If I get home at 4 o'clock, which is I do, uh, and I have like 2 hours to play the game, this is what I would do. 20 minutes of realistic, 40 minutes of realistics, um, 20 minutes of, actually 10 minutes of, actually no, never mind. 10 minutes of rank, like play one game of rank, one or two. And then I'll probably put scrims for one hour straight because scrims are very important. Then probably play tournaments because do the most important things. If you do the non-important things and like you have low time, don't do them at all. Just do the most important things that you need. Okay, tip number seven. Um, when you're fighting in tournaments. You wanna kind of try your best. Like if you're doing, if you're doing bad at a tournament, don't just quit and just for I'm um, like, like just troll around. Keep playing the tournament tickets. I gotta tell you the secret. Tournaments is the number one thing you need to practice. Tournaments is the best practice you ever need. You probably said no scrims is the best practice. Well, you're right about that. It's good practice, but it's, I wouldn't say the best. It's probably the second best practice. So if I were you, 
I'll probably play tournaments more often. If even if you're doing bad, try your best, and you'll see a more improvement. Tip number eight: building. Practice your building and mechanics. Like try to do the basics. Like try to practice your 90s. Maybe you need to practice these 90s on. Yeah. Maybe you need to practice this. Like try to do the basics. Don't do anything flashy. Like this is what you're not gonna need. You're not gonna need um the flashy mechanics like I'm doing. Okay, tip number nine. Um. Fighting on high ping. When you're in creative, guys, practice for like 20 minutes on high ping. Like 1v1 the best players. Like sometimes I'll 1v1 Raf 444, which is a YouTuber. And then I'll go first to 10, but I'll be on high ping. I'll play on his, his servers to get used to it. I'll play NA Central, and you all know that I play NA East. Like, NA Central will get about 40 ping, but in creative, sometimes it gets 60. NA East, I get, like, about 20 ping, and in game, like, I mean, I get zero ping in creative, but I should go in NA Central for that. But in game, I get 20 ping, so I need to get used to that. Tip number 10. When VOD reviewing, try to milk all of the information you um, got in replays. Try to think of th three or four different ways how did you die. Like the most important things, how did you die. It says, maybe if you died in a tournament, think about, and you lose some mats. Think about what made you lose this fight. Did maybe did you waste too much mats? Maybe you're too busy doing free builds. Show off your mechanics to your opponent. Maybe you got hit for a lot of damage and you didn't do the tips that I told you. Because those are important. So basically just try to like VOD review every day. Like at least VOD review for two games it's, you made it through this whole video if you're interested um, check out me and my friends YouTube channel his YouTube channel is RafaFen6 and my channel you know already on number two I might create a master class for you all in private 1v1 coaching sessions and I'll Hope you like this video. If you make me want to do more content, like write down in the comments what do you want me to do next. I can do whatever you want. If you need help with something, just let uh, me know. Peace out.